is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below your person is very confused right now very confused okay this person has a lot of love for you but they're very confused they don't know what to do they're daydreaming about you but there's procrastination they're not taking action all right they're just dreaming daydreaming they're thinking a lot about you you on the other hand here I feel you have a lot of, um, you had a lot of willingness, a lot of strength, okay, to make this connection happen, to work this out. But you're giving up. You're tired of dealing with this bullshit. What's the current situation? No one's working on this connection. Nor are you working on this, nor are they working on this. They're not working on this connection because they want to, but they're procrastinating, so they're not taking any action towards you. You're not working on this connection because you've given your all, okay? You've given your 120% to this and now since it's not working out anymore because you were the only one putting in the effort, you were the only one trying to hold on to this connection, you know, with all that strength, that inner determination, that will to make it happen. So that's why now you're also not working on this connection, okay? But right now, no one's, there's no momentum out here. No one's working on doing anything about this. All right, let's see. Um... What do you, what does this person feel deep down for you? What do you feel deep down for this person? Hmm. So, um, this person definitely wants a brand new start with you, okay? A brand new start, I like the Ace of Swords, it's a brand new start with a lot of clarity, honesty, you know, like a breakthrough in communication. So this person, if this person has been uh, like uh, non-communicative, they want to communicate with you. Uh, if there's a silent treatment, this person wants to break the silent treatment and they want to come towards you. They want to finally open up. You, on the other hand, here with the two of cups, so what you feel is that if this relationship's got to work out, it's got to work out with both the people putting in the work. Not like in the past where you put in all the work and this person just sits there doing nothing about it, okay? That passive approach is not going to work anymore. But with the two of cups here, I feel that you are looking for a balance out here, okay? You're looking for an equal give and take. No more one-sided situation. Okay. But you're staying very diplomatic with, the, with your feelings is also what I'm getting here. What's the mutual energy? What's the mutual energy? Ooh, six of cups in reverse. They left a bad taste in your mouth. Or you did, okay? But I feel what I'm getting here is that this person, because they've been very childlike, okay? This person has been very childish. Um... They tend to repeat the same mistakes over and over again. You know, that re repeating of that negative pattern or just repeating the same mistakes, okay? Which is making you very, very bitter towards them, okay? So now I'd say, for example, now this person, they come they come back into your life. You know, they keep coming back into your life, okay? If this is a runner chaser thing, okay? So you've been chasing them all this while, okay? And they've been running. So the moment you stop chasing, they come back towards you. They come back, they give you all the hope and faith that things are working out this time. Everything's going to be okay. They come back, they do the same old shit, different days. Same bullshit, for you, okay? So you're like just fed up you're fed up okay and now you are growing up you're trying to approach the entire situation in a very mature way okay and this person out here i feel after doing so much damage out here maybe this person is also trying to grow up okay they're trying to mature from this situation but as for right now the current mutual energy is that you're both looking at each other in a very negative light okay not saying it's your fault could be this but um yeah maybe this person this person has always wanted you to take care of them like if they fall in a pit they expect you to get them out they're very codependent is what i'm getting here okay not a very independent energy but i think now they feel that it's time for them to have that open clear communication with you okay and tell you what the truth is or probably just discuss things without and put it all on the table take it or leave it something like that but you on the other hand are thinking more emotionally my friend Saj, you're more emotional out here you want that love you want those emotions you want to feel this love you want to feel this connection and they're more like babe let's just get logical okay we feel the connection let's put love aside let's just look at the facts let's just be more rational logical and let's deal with it like that okay with a lot of facts out here nice so uh i feel that this person out here is coming towards you with a brand new beginning out here okay this person wants to start from scratch see that's why the ace of swords here they want to 
clearly communicate with you what's going on, what they want, how they can move this forward, what they want to do to move things forward, etc., etc. You, on the other hand, here, I feel that if this person, you've been um, pretty stressed out with this person all this while, okay, sleepless nights, a lot of remorse, regret, you know, you feel like you're in like this, um, this very dark place, you know, where you feel you could just cannot never get out. I think you just could be just waking up at night, you know, thinking about them, what's really going on, you know and uh, etc but this is a place where you put yourself into i hope you know that right this is not this person doing things to you yes they did do a lot of damage to you but we're the ones who choose what we want to do with that damage okay so either we learn our lessons and move on or we just stay in regret okay could have should have would have kind of thing but i feel here in the actions here i feel you're trying to get yourself out of that negative position you're trying to sleep better. You're trying to get yourself out of uh, that uh, that rut. And um, you see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Now, light at the end of the tunnel does not mean that you see um, that now you can move forward. You can. That's, a, that's one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is that, you know, you see that probably there is hope. There could be hope. Because I think that the two of cups here, the love is still there. The connection still remains strong. So you still have hope, but I think the way you want to move move forward with this is that, you know what, you don't want to stress about it, okay? You don't want that stress, fear, anxiety, whatever's causing this, you just want to let it go. You want to calm down, you want to meditate, you know, you just want to be in a very peaceful place, all right? That's how you want to take this forward. What's the outcome here? Wow, temperance. Yeah, so this person still makes you wait. The universe makes you wait, all right? Are you ready to do that? That's you. So with the temperance card out here, what I'm getting here is that, babe, you need balance out here, okay? One thing you need to understand is that self-reflection. A. Secondly, what is in your control? Control it, okay? Self-control. And you need to understand if something's not in your control, you need to let it go. It's got to go, all right? You got to do what you got to do. But someone once told me, if something can have a solution to it or if something can work out, why worry? And if something can't work out, you can't, you know, you can't do anything about it. Then also why worry, right? So both the ways, don't worry, okay? Just leave it to the universe because with the temperance here, I assure you something is going on behind the scenes. The universe is promising you something better than what you expected, but you got to have the balance out there, okay? Don't overindulge, don't overthink, don't overanalyze, don't overstress, okay? Because your negative thoughts are creating reality. They are manifesting into reality, okay? But I do like the way you're approaching uh, this connection out here, okay? Let's do a little bit of clarification. What's the seven of cups here? Knight of cups in reverse. They love you so much, but the thing is that they're very in and out, right? So they don't know how to approach to. They don't know how to say this to you. A lot of procrastination from this person's side, okay? So it's like, yeah, I love Sag. I don't know what to say. Because this person could have been from, you know, like commitment to non-commitment, you know, like, like, like. A commitment phobe is what I'm getting here, okay? So this person out here does not really know the best way to approach you is what I'm getting here. They're not, they're having a hard time expressing their emotions. That's for sure here. So that's why they'd better daydream and they be, they'd rather dream, daydream about you than take some action because they don't know the kind of response they're going to get from you. Strength and reverse, why is that? Wheel of Fortune, yeah, see? You're moving forward. You're, um, so you could have, um, you could have been in this frustrating delay, okay, all this while, but you know, things aren't going your way, nothing's moving forward, universe does, is not on your side, you know, bad luck, etc. But now I think you're gathering the courage. There is a certain change coming. There is an opportunity here where you can start a new cycle here. But I just feel that you are not, could be for a few of you who are wanting to start this cycle with this person again when they come back. And for a few of you, I think you're moving forward, not wanting to repeat the same mistakes, not wanting to repeat the past, and wanting to move forward towards a positive direction. Okay. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Why? See? See, that's what I'm saying. You're coming off from a place of resentment, okay? The kind of... Um, now, see... You're talking to this person, not talking to this person, but the kind of vibes, you know, the kind of vibes that you give to this person, your point is not being clearly communicated to them. Now, whether you're talking to them, like I said, whether this is a conversation or a simple text, okay, what you're trying to make clear to them 
they, they don't get it. They don't get it. In fact, what's happening here is with you being in the queen of swords in the reverse energy, right? Very bitter, very resentful. That's the kind of vibe that they're getting. That's why they're not being able to express because they don't have the confidence. They, I mean, you're already in the queen of swords energy, upright or reverse. You're cutting them off. Okay. In the reverse, even worse. Okay. You're very intimidating, not in a good way, but in a way where this person is just unsure about what to do, you know? So, um, they're scared to approach you. Okay. They are. They are. Ace of Swords. What's that? What's the Ace of Swords? This person wants a reconciliation with you. They do. They do. But this time the reconciliation is going to be more like, you know what? Let's just cut the bullshit and let's just talk about how we can move this further or how we can reconcile, whatever. But this person misses you, okay? They want to be with you. What's the Two of Cups? What's the Two of Cups? Hmm. King of Wands. You love this person, okay? So there's a lot of passion coming from your side here. But I think what you're doing is that the emotion is there from your side, but you're waiting and hoping for this person to take that action towards you, okay? Maybe you're waiting for this person to take the lead out here, or maybe you're just waiting for an opportunity here where you could take action towards them. But before that, you want that balanced emotions, okay? You want that balance out here. What's the Six of Cups in reverse? Justice in reverse. Yeah, see, that's what the problem is here. This is what you want. You want balance out here. You know, somewhere I feel you're trying to put pressure on a person who sucks at making decisions, especially when they're in pressure, you know. Two things that I feel that the, this kind of person reacts to when you push the person to make an make a decision or you know like probably say a lot of people you know like a lot of us like we'd rather just ghost this person okay so that we can push them to come out of their hole and make a decision you know to come out of that rabbit hole a lot of us would rather just you know like uh push them constantly with messages taunt them be sarcastic etc okay so they realize their mistakes etc i feel you're dealing with the kind of person a if this person does not know what to do either they'll walk away or B, you'll be in a stalemate with them. And I think right now, this stalemate has been there with this person for a very long time. This person doesn't operate very well in uh, when being pressured, okay? What's the fool here? What's the fool here? Several swords in reverse. This person's very guilty. They want to come back. Do you want the back? They're coming back. Take it or leave it. But they're coming back. This person's feeling very guilty. So all this while, this person was trying to run away from their emotions. They were trying to uh, just, you know, like um, bottle up their emotions. They were trying to think more logically. They were trying to run away from the situation, trying to run away from the fact that this person loves you very, very much and they want to be with you. They, they can't um, stay without you. I think this person has mental clarity now that you're the one that they want and they can't, they can't, handle probably the silent treatment i'm getting that silent treatment also they can't handle this anymore they're coming towards you but they just don't know how to because the knight of cups in reverse um it's telling me that they have a hard time expressing themselves emotionally the love is there but they're just not being able to do it but they're coming back for sure wanting a leap of faith with you what's the nine of swords in reverse what's the nine of swords in reverse Ooh. You're ending things with them. This person put you a lot. Yeah, they put you through a lot. You're ending things with them. But that always does not mean a transformation. It doesn't always mean change. It does, but it also means ending connections. It also means where a very big, important phase of your life has ended and you're moving on to the next. See, that's where the Wheel of Fortune is on your side, right? Like I said before, even before the death came. You're choosing to move forward to a different direction because with the two of cups here and the king of wands here, you're going to get what you want. You don't give a shit to what this person says or does. If this person comes towards you, they better come towards you with a love. If they don't, you're okay with it because you're moving forward here. You're very decisive, you know. The king of wands is someone, you know, who it's a very masculine energy. They get up and get things done, right? So it's like, you know what? You pick up the pieces, you get your shit together and you're just walking straight towards your goal. You're ending things with them. Because you've transformed is what I'm getting here. I feel this person took very long to come towards you, okay, to make this decision, okay. Because this person seems to be very confused. This person lives more in their head than in their heart. And you are someone who lives more in your heart. 
But now, because of whatever has happened, right, you've transformed yourself. But let me tell you one thing here. You may be operating logically, okay, but right now, I think your emotions are overpowering your logic. Either you are letting the past affect your way of thinking or affect your approach towards this person or you're just too bitter towards them. Okay, whatever. Take it how it resonates. But the Queen of Swords is not the best when she thinks emotionally, okay? She just she just does not have clarity. All right, temperance here. Why is this the outcome? Why is this the outcome? Temperance. <laughs> They're coming back. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. They're coming back as the outcome here. End of June 2021. This person's coming back. They tried to walk away from you emotionally. This person tried to move on. They thought the grass was greener, greener on the other side. They couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. It's the truth. They couldn't. They're coming back. They can't walk away from you. They tried their best. They couldn't. See, that's what I'm saying. This person out here has a lot of love for you. A lot of cups on this person's side out here. Okay. <clears throat> you, my friend, I feel you're leaving things to the universe. If it's got to work, it's got to work. But I think that death card out here, ouch, that's a little bit of finality from your side, okay? It's like, I think I'm done. I don't want to do this again, okay? Because you put me through hell and I'm in no mood of wanting to be a fool again for you or with you, okay? So I think you're ending, thing, you're ending things with them, but they're coming back. They want to start from scratch, from zero. They... um that's a baby the fool is a baby they know nothing you know so it's like they keep coming back to you just to let you know they keep coming back to you there is no one else that they have in their life is what i'm getting here even if they do they will always this can these kind of people will always find someone who they don't have to get emotionally attached to they will always find someone who they can be detached from where they don't feel guilty or where they don't get attached where they're not wanting to be vulnerable and that's exactly what the kind of person you're dealing with this person is very afraid of being vulnerable. That's why they'd rather daydream, think a lot about you, love you from a distance. But they're coming back. It's up to you. Okay. Hope this video resonates. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.